What's going on guys? Repairs and Reviews here. I was about to adjust the valves on this thing and uh, this was brought to me in this condition not with the covers and everything removed. Um, so I figured this is a good time to show you how to gap your coil. And this is just your average Briggs & Stratton single cylinder. Uh, but it's pretty much the same procedure on anything with a uh, coil this style. So first off, you're going to want to, and I'm going to show you how to clean the flywheel. Um, I'm not going to clean the coil, but it, this, this is the same for cleaning the coil as the flywheel. So if you were replacing this, if you, were, if you had to replace your coil, uh, that means you have to remove it. It is a very sensitive gap and it needs to be gapped to uh, to operate correctly. So, locate your magnet. In this case, it's right in this section here. Now you can take a wire brush or some uh, Scotch-Brite sandpaper, something, something like that, and just take it, and just kind of clean up the magnet. They like to build up a lot of rust over time, you know, especially if it sits out in the weather. Uh, and uh, I've never seen this actually affect the coil operation, but I always clean it when I'm replacing the coil or I'm in here this far. Because if it gets rust in between it, the gap will be bigger when you go to gap it. So make sure this is clean, just like that. That's your magnet right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just uh, clean it up while you're here. It's got two screws or bolts. One right here, one right here. These are eight millimeter. I'm going to loosen these up. And there's nothing wrong with this coil. I'm just going to recap it while I'm in here. All right, you see on this coil where it bolts it has two oblong holes and that is meant to gap it can slide in it can slide out so what you want to do and this is the easiest simplest way to do this take a regular piece of paper and fold it in half nothing special about this this is regular paper fold it in half and I, I've seen people use index cards but I, I personally think an index card is a little too thick but this is the way I've always done it and I've never had a problem you want to slide this in here just like that pull the coil away line the magnet up with the coil and let the coil draw itself into the magnet. Did you see that? It draws itself into the magnet. So it's holding it tight. We're just going to snug these up. These are very small bolts. You don't have to uh, put a whole lot of pressure behind them. But make sure they're tight. But you don't have to break them. Alright, so those are tight. And all you do is rotate the flywheel out to get all the pieces of paper out. Just like that. And if you, if you question your gap at all, you want to rotate the engine all the way around. just in case you find it rubbing in one area of the flywheel. But this feels good. I've rotated it all the way around. Back to the magnet. And uh, that's the simplest and easiest way to gap a coil. I'm going to move on to adjusting the valves if you're uh, interested in learning how to do that. 
or you need to know how to do that, keep a lookout on my channel for that video. It should be up shortly. Thanks for watching.